Hey there. Welcome, 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 everybody. It is day one of the very first time I'm doing the Create Boot Camp. What is a boot camp? Why am I making this a boot camp? This is the third time technically that I've done this series that I'm going to be doing, but this is the first time that I've called it a boot camp. And there's a specific reason for that and a reason why I've changed it a little bit. And if you have watched, let me know if you watched either of the other two times that I have done this series of six videos that I'm going to be doing over the course of the next week. I did the first one in March of 2022. And then I did the second one this past September of 2022. So I did two of them in 2022. Hey there, Marion. I see you popping on today. So I did two of them. And um, they were, I just called them C-Bob. <laughs> and that is the name of my group that I have now, which is called the Creative Business Owner Basics, which is a very long name. So we just call it C-Bob. You can let me know if you're watching and you are in C-Bob. Just put C-Bob in the comments. So I like to call the members over there in that group C-Bobbers. <laughs> So whenever I do a video, when the comments come across, it spells it S-E-A-B-O-B-B-E-R-S, -B -B -E C-Bobbers, which I always think is funny whenever I see it in the comments. So let me know in the comments if you're in C-Bob, and I will explain to you why I am calling this a boot camp. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of when you think of a boot camp? Have you ever been in a boot camp? What, what does that mean to be in a boot camp? And like, what do you think of? You might think at first of boot camp that if you were in the military, you go through. I've never been through that, but I have heard stories about how intense that is. So you might think of the word intense you might think of like very physical um, if you're thinking of a boot camp. Like what are some other things that you think of when you hear the word boot camp? I'm just kind of curious. I chose the word boot camp for a specific reason because I decided to just go ahead and be very direct with these videos that I'm going to be doing because... These videos are all about the six different practices that I teach inside of my Create course. So at the end of these six videos, it will be no surprise to you probably that I will tell you more about my Create course. What I'm going to do during these six videos is actually be very direct and explain to you and teach you and maybe even get you to do some things that are maybe outside of your comfort zone that are in the CREATE course, that are what the CREATE course is about. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about why I felt the need to do and develop the CREATE course, but these six days are going to be a little taste of what the CREATE course is like. So Army military discipline, for sure, Marion. That's kind of what I think of, too. Jeanette says, tough and intense. Oh, all in. Oh, I like that, Jeanette. I, or Jeanetta, I like that a lot. So let's see. Um, Laura says, boot camp is a plan to accomplish a lot. I am going to give you challenges. They won't be physical challenges like you would do, like, in the military in a boot camp. But they may challenge you to do some things that maybe you've never done before. Or maybe they're going to challenge the way you've thought about things before. Or maybe they're just going to challenge you to think through some things maybe that you've never thought about before. I would love to know if you are watching, if you do own a creative business. I would like to know because I already went live once today at 1030, my normal live, had a few little technical difficulties and it wasn't able to um, stream directly from Facebook. So I am on um, StreamYard right now streaming. And so far, I can see all of your names. So you must be, um, you know, in with StreamYard so that you can see all of the, the comments. 
But so, um, oh, Jeanette is watching from Arkansas. I didn't. I don't know that I realized that that's where you lived. Prepping ceilings to paint. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So, creators. Oh, she's telling us the name. Creators Corner Studio. Very good. Yeah. So Jeanette says she does have a creative business, but it's on hold. Oh, that's right, because you're remodeling your shop and your studio and your house. And that is a lot. I can see why you probably had to put some things on hold. So, OK, so more about as you are telling me where you're watching from and if you have a creative business, I have another question for you. Hey there, I see Janet. Oh, Sherry's watching from work today. Awesome. Hey there, Janet. So I have another question for you. What kind of people do you like to hang out with? Like what kind of characteristics do the people that you like to hang out with, like what, what do they have? What, what are the characteristics? So today, the very first practice that I'm going to talk about is community. So Janetta, yes, there will be a replay. And actually, I am streaming this video also to YouTube. So what I'm going to do is to put all of those together. And that link will be inside of CBOB. So if you are not in CBOB, um, make sure that you are over there and you can put... Um, uh, that you want in CBOB in the comments. I think several of the people already watching are over there because that's where I'm going to have you post everything for the challenges. And let me kind of go back to just a couple of um, housekeeping kind of um, just things like an overview of what we're going to be doing over these next six days. You should have a notebook because I'm going to, I'm going to tell you some things and they're going to be things that I always get people asking me in Messenger. <laughs> and this is going to be my easiest way to tell a lot of you all at once rather than one at a time. So have a notebook, have a pen, and be ready to write some things down. I'm going to give you some recommendations of some books. I'm going to give you some quotes. I'm going to give you some things to think about, maybe some lists, maybe some tips maybe some things to actually implement and do. So you want to have a notebook ready and be able to write things down. If you're going to show up live to watch the videos, they're going to be Monday through Thursday this week at 1 p.m. And then I'm going to do no, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. <laughs> I'm going to have the schedule at 1 p.m. And then on Monday, Monday at 1 p.m. So there are going to be six different videos about the six different practices of oh, my create course right here. So the six different practices, they're going to be probably about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere around in there. And um, I am going to have some challenges for you to do. You're going to post those inside of CBOB. You're going to have a, um, a couple of things to be able to, to do. And I am going to have an event for each one of the days. So it, they'll probably be separate. I have not went into the event to see. Anyway, if you want to be notified, just mark going on the event and the replays, like I mentioned, I I'm streaming to YouTube and I will put them all together inside of CBOB. So I see some different people putting the um, characteristics of who they like to hang out with, like who is in your community, because we're talking about community today. So Laura says smart people. I like that. Positive, encouraging. I think that is very important. Positive people, says Janetta, people who are good at what they do and love sharing knowledge, people who are encouraging, people I can learn from and who can learn from me. Very good. Hey there, Diana. I thought that Diana was going to be watching. She had commented on a post about um, this event. So you want to hang out with people, it sounds like, who you like being around. But I also heard a couple of you say you like to be around people who will help you to grow, who you can learn from, who can help you to be a better person. Because, you know, 
I don't remember who said this right off, but you become like the five people you hang out with. It might have been Mel Robbins. I know she talks about it. Tony Robbins, you know, they're no relation at all. To um, I, don't, I don't know exactly who said it. It might have even been the person who wrote the How to Win and Influence People, like way back in my... Um, his name is not on the top of my tongue right now either. It starts with an N, if anybody remembers who that Nick, Nick, Nicholas. No, that doesn't sound right. Nathan. No, Nathan, I don't. Anyway, there's somebody who has a quote about you are and you become like the five people that you hang out with. So if you hang out with people who are encouraging and positive and help you to grow and you will try to become like them. Whereas if you hang out with people who are negative and like to criticize and, you know, just don't have a positive outlook and all of those kind of negative things. Oh, Dale Carnegie. Thank you, Marion. I don't know why I thought it was. Is there another one that I'm thinking of with an N that was either before or after him? You know, his book, I think, was the my dog always starts barking when I come on and do these afternoon videos. There, it seems like there was another um, Hill, Napoleon Hill. What, what's his book? I, I have his name in my, my head now here. But you are like and you will become like the five people that you hang out with. So you want to choose those people accordingly, right? You want to choose the positive people. You want You have a choice in doing that. So... Here is a question that I have, especially for all of you who said that you do have a business. I would like to know your thoughts on whether, like, should you, should you try to get as many followers as possible? Should you, should you try to build your number of followers as big as you possibly can? Is that the point it, you know, it, just getting as many followers. And you can imagine that I'm, I'm kind of setting you up to say, well, yeah, it seems like you should always be getting new leads and new friends and, you know, things like that. Um, oh, Marion had a good question. Why only five? Five is the number that is a small group. You get bigger than that. And then there, there's just too many. It's, um, I think it's Napoleon Hill's book that talks about a master mind. And that group of five is a good number for that idea of a master mind of those five different people. So yeah, it's, it's, those are, those are your like inner circle, right? Your inner circle. Um, I have heard somebody refer to them as you were, um, oh my goodness, it's afternoon and my words are just like, um, It'll come to me here in a second. They're, they're your core group of people, your inner circle. So, um, oh my goodness, that that term is going to, I'm going to have to think of it. But but the core group of people, and that's why it's five. That That's just a good inner circle number of people. So, oh, Diana, Diana says she, she needs new friends. You know, I want to, I want to tell you a story about, that that was that was actually kind of me not necessarily new friends but i needed a new community and even though i couldn't necessarily voice that i didn't know that that's what it was i knew that i needed to start hanging out with different people who who honestly led me to here creating creations of studio 39. I, I knew that I needed to hang out with people who were trying to grow, who were trying to better themselves, who were trying to get to a different place, right? Because we're all wired for connection. We're all wired to be in community. And when I was talking about, um, you know, should you try to get as many followers as possible? I, I don't think that we should. I, I know lots of successful people who do not have large followings. I don't think that that is really the goal is to get as many followers as possible. So 
let me kind of tell you the story about, you know, kind of just like where I was before I owned and created studio creations of studio 39. I still heard my dog barking. I, I, I have my degree in art education and there was a time period where I was working in a different field and I, I really, I didn't even understand at the time, but I felt very apathetic about things. I felt just like every day was Groundhog Day. I kind of felt like there, there was nothing really to get very excited about. And what I realized was I wasn't hanging out with anyone. I wasn't surrounding myself. I wasn't choosing the people who would, who were like me, who had the same interests as me. I had friends and they, you know, were all different but I wasn't hanging out with the people who would help to support and help to have me grow in areas that were my interests. So I realized kind of that I needed that. And back in July of 2016, I joined a network marketing community essentially. And that was when I really started getting around people who this idea of personal growth, of growing, of reading these different books, that was kind of when that came up. And what I started doing then was surrounding myself with the people and starting to do the things that they did so that I could grow. They were reading books. I started reading books. They were um, keeping track of things. They were following a specific um, guideline of behaviors every day. They, it was a daily practice that they were doing of these certain behaviors. So I, I got into that community and I realized that I started doing those things too, because those were the people that I chose to get around. So you have the choice every day to choose who those people are. And you listed a lot of different characteristics. Try to get very specific with that. And have those be criteria, basically, for the people that you connect with. So I asked you about getting followers. I don't think that the point is to get as many followers. Anybody really can make some awesome reels where they're dancing and they can have millions of followers of people who show up just to see them dance. Those are influencers, they aren't really necessarily people who may have a business, right? They aren't people who necessarily want to grow a business. They're, they're just trying to get followers. I believe it's not the point to get followers. It's about making connections. It's about making connections and having the community of people who are going to push you, who are going to help you grow and support you and understand you. So when I started my business, I was being led to, you know, from one community, like I got in that community in 2016 and that, that led me step by step to creating my business where then I got into a coaching community where I met a lot of you. I met a lot of you who were showing up here live and that was the community of the people who understood what it was like to be an entrepreneur. They understood what it was like to create art. They understood all of these things that were more my interest. I would love to hear in the comments while I take a little drink here. What are some things, some interests, some hobbies that you have that you could connect with people? And I just want to have like a whole big long list of just whatever it is that you were interested in. What are the things that you could connect with other people? What are the things that you like? I'm just going to give you one. If you like pumpkin spice, then we are friends. Then I can connect with you and we can talk about pumpkin spice. So go ahead and put in the comments. What are some things, hobbies, interests that you could connect with other people because it's something that you like? What are some interests, some hobbies? 
what are the things like the pumpkin spice that you could connect with other people? What are the things that you like doing? What do you like watching on TV? What do you like listening to? What are the things that you like of, of what you could connect with other people? So, and hey there, Annette. Annette says the outdoors, wildlife. <laughs> hey there, Connie. I'm not sure what she's laughing about there. So what are the things that you like? Oh, trail running. I don't know anything about that. Oh, yeah, I bet that did change everything. Oh, homeschooling. Very good, Marion. Yes. So keep making a list in there of all of the different things that you could connect with people. Because here, here's the thing. When I was in, oh, the pumpkin spice. <laughs> I, I'm just always, I do have a story about why around there. Oh, Sherry, we're, that's why we're friends. Sherry says pumpkin spice. <laughs> Golden Doodle Puppies. Oh my goodness, I saw your puppies. I'll, I'll tell you really quickly the pumpkin spice story. When I was growing up, we would go to my grandparents' house and I have a, an aunt who would cook these pumpkin spice cookies that were that were soft and like fluffy. They were like unlike any kind of a cookie that I had ever had. And they had this cream cheese icing on there. And that it just smelled so good while we were there at Thanksgiving and these, you know, pumpkin spice. And so every time I'm around the pumpkin spice, it makes me think of Thanksgiving. Ooh, got, got just like a little emotional right there. They make me think of Thanksgiving. They make me think of my grandparents being around my family. So I think that that association is part of why I really love pumpkin spice. Plus it just tastes really good. So that that's partly why. So Diana said, um, oh yeah, I, I need to, I need to find somebody who has the recipe, Sherry, because I don't have it. <laughs> so, and I haven't had one in a, a long, long time. Diana put, um, secondhand vintage shops. Ooh, history, food, bikes, swimming roses. Oh, ooh, pumpkin spice cheesecake. There we go, Diana. <laughs> so, when I was in that network marketing community, I, I was following different people who were very successful in that business. And one of the people that I remember following, she was talking about this idea of connecting. And she was talking about building your community. And some people call it growing your audience, um, you know, finding leads, you know, whatever that terminology. I like community, because that is the letter C up there stands for community. So each one of these letters is one of the different practices that I teach inside of my course. So community is what I like to call that idea of building your audience, getting leads. And oh, Connie, Nina Colada, I gotta, I gotta tell you something there. We'll, we'll talk after, we'll talk after. <laughs> so swimming, painting, crowd. Oh, I like all those too. So I remember following her and she said that one of the ways that she started connecting and, you know, using social media and finding more people to talk with, because the more people you talk with, the more you will grow. If you, if you're in business, the more people you talk with, the more people you will grow. Not, the, not getting the followers, but the more people that you talk with, that's, that's a whole different thing. And what are the things that you can talk with them about? All of the things that you're listing right there. All of the things that when you meet somebody for the very first time and you start talking with them, Hey, you know, usually it starts with, where do you work? You know, where do you live? What, what, are, what things do you like to do? And those are the things that you can connect with people about and normally you remember people's names, things about them, and, you know, the things that you connect with, that's that's one of the ways that you do that. So this person, she said that the way that she started growing her social media following was she became a professional friend maker. She wasn't trying to sell to people. She was building a business, but she wasn't trying to sell to people. She was honestly trying to make friends. 
She wanted to become a professional friend maker. She was trying to find out things like the things that you're putting in the comments there about what they liked. How could they connect? What interested them? You know, if you want someone to be interested in your business, be interested in them. <laughs> be an interesting per an interested person, right? Be interested in what it is that they like and then, you know, connecting with them and actually trying to build a relationship. So this is one of the things that I teach inside of my create course is all of these different ways about how to connect and how to build community. So I'm going to give you a little snippet of one of the things that we go into a little bit deeper in my course, but it's this idea of building a system to be able to grow your following, to connect with more people. And this is all about having something that you can maintain and you can sustain. You can't grow and connect with 100 people a day. It's, it's just not physically possible. So you have to have something that you can sustain and you can maintain doing consistently. Write down the word consistent. Write down the word consistent because if you can build a practice of being consistent with these six different practices and you can, not perfect, not perfect, but consistent, if you can be consistent, you will be successful. The little daily habits day after day that you do will compound and you will grow. I did not bring this book in here, but if somebody wants to type in the chat, the one of the books that I started off last year, my goal is to read one book per month um, during the year. This year, I have a goal of two books per month. But last year, I read, read The Compound Effect. And I don't remember... Um, Dale, Dale Hardy, um, Darren Hardy, no, the compound effect. If you look that up, you will find the compound effect. It's a little short read. I got it done quicker than um, in one month. The compound effect talks about that idea of being consistent and just doing something day after day, and, and it compounds. So thank you, Connie. I don't remember right off who, who wrote that. So here is the consistent action that if you can do this, you will grow your following, you will build connections, you will build an audience of people that you are connected with. So here is what a mentor of mine taught me, and it was about a recipe. And she said, it was actually a mentor who recently spoke at my Create Retreat that I had. You may have seen some pictures in Florida. So she virtually um, came in on Zoom and she spoke to the two different groups of ladies that were at the retreat. And she spoke a little bit about the recipe. And she actually uses the metaphor of like a recipe like for mac and cheese. So she uses the recipe about how you have to have the ingredients you have to have. Um, oh, it is Darren Hardy. I was right. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> so, and when it was written in 2011. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know that I knew what year it was. So thank you very much. So she talked about the recipe. So here is the recipe. It has always been for me to add two new connections every day. Two new connections. Why? Why do I want to add two new connections? Now, one of the things that I teach in the course is how you can how you can leverage your personal profile to do some of the things and to have that personal profile optimized so that people can then connect with you on your business page. But initially, you're connecting with them as a person. So on your personal profile, making two new connections. Because remember that mentor I talked about from 2016 that said that she became a professional friend maker. She was making friends. She wasn't making followers. She was making friends. She was connecting with them. She was building a relationship with them. So 
What I teach inside of Create is that you want to add two new connections every day. Where are some places that you could make connections? Where are some places where you could find people <laughs> that, that you could connect with? Go ahead and list in the comments there, where are some places that you could connect with people? Where are some places that you would find people? Some of the interests that you mentioned there in the chat would be places that you could not only find people, but you could find people who are interested in what you're interested in, and then you would have that connection. So not only could you you know, meet people, but you could connect with them because you're already showing up at a place, doing a thing, drinking the pumpkin spice where you can already connect with people and you can be in the same place. Hey there, Amy. Amy's showing up as her Amy Parker art page. Amy and I are doing a coffee chat on Friday at 930. I will be going live at 930 that day and at one o'clock. So I'll be doing two videos that day too. So Connie listed a whole list here, a book club, a mother's club, church, work, Facebook groups, VFW, schools, gym. She's got a whole great list there. There are all kinds of places where you can connect with people. If you feel like in your business that you are not seeing the results that you want, that you are not having, you know, on the other side, that, that feeling of success at whatever that means to you, you probably just need to make more connections. You need to talk to more people and people that you can connect with like that, that have a, 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 an interest already. Those are the ones that you're going to connect with even faster, just two per day. I just looked up, I've been in business a little bit over three years, and I just looked up, I'm very close on my business page to 5,000 followers. Now, I don't have a, a calculator here, but if I calculate out 365 days times three years at two people per day, I should only be at about 2,100 followers, not 5,000. What happens is the compound effect. I can consistently add and make two new connections every single day. And because that's my intention of every single day, I will make two new connections. I've actually doubled that. I think it's more than double. I've almost, I've doubled that because there are some days I'll have four. There are some weeks where I'll have more than, you know, the 14. There are times when I'll have more than that. So then the average is more like four per day, five per day, you know, whatever that equals out to. So if you can start being consistent with something that you can sustain like that, your business will grow. You will make more connections. And it's all about being intentional. If you're intentional, this is another quote that recently I've heard several times. If you figure out your why, which is your intention, right? Your intention about why you have a business, your intention about how you show up, your intention about how you're growing, you're following. If you know your why, the how will show up. If you are so clear on why you want to have a business, why you want to serve people, why you want to help people, why you want to show up, the how will show up. You will start to notice people talking about, you'll start to notice showing up in your Facebook feed, the, the how to solve whatever it is that you've been talking about, right? We've, we've all had that happen. The how will show up. So I want you to get really clear on the things that we've talked about today. Being intentional about who it is that you want in your community. Think about those qualities that we listed. Think about the places where you can find people, where you can connect with people because they have the same interests. And I wanted to, um, I've mentioned about this book before, but it's so good and I'm going to go back through it, is this Donald Miller Building a Story Brand, all about talking about your story and 
really finding those different ways that you can connect with people. So that is an excellent book and there's all kinds of different resources and, and things. Um, and it is Donald Miller is the, the author there. Building your story, talking about your story is going to help you to connect with people. So I saw some, um, Oh, Janet says, I don't actually friend on my personal profile. I have tons of connections already, but have not kept adding. Janet, that's one of the things that I teach inside of the course of how that process works and how to connect with people and then have them, if they're interested, come over to your business page and why that's important and, and how that builds a, a better relationship with people than just getting followers. And, um, you know, I, I know several people who are very successful that have a smaller following me included because 5,000 is really not, you know, not that big of a following, you know, when there's 8 billion people in the world or whatever. <laughs> so, um, I want you to think about being intentional and thinking about the places where you could meet people that are, that have the same interest, thinking about your story, because when you are consistent like that, when you are intentional, you will build a following. You will build connections that will help you to be successful. So Janet, that was kind of what I was mentioning that I have found with my business, that the more that I can make connections personally with people, the, the, the better I feel about my business because it is about community. That is one of my core values, which we also talk about in my course. And that has helped me to, to feel like I have more relationships with the people in my business so that they become repeat customers. And I only say customers because there's an exchange of, you know, they're, they're paying me for something of value that I'm giving to them. So client is probably a better word than customer, but I choose to build my business that way rather than just trying to get as many followers as possible that I don't necessarily have a connection with. That's always my goal to try to be able to do that. So Diana, I'm going to be talking more about the create course and um, that will happen next week. I'll talk a little bit about it kind of over the six days as we talk about the six different foundational practices. But next Monday, I'll be sharing a little bit more about the course and when it starts and, and all of that kind of thing. Um, I don't have the date right in front of me, but it's it's like it's after these six days. Um I believe it's the 26th of June is the date. It should be two weeks from today. So there you go. Two weeks from today, whatever, that'd be the 26th. So there you go. So I answered, I answered the question, even though I didn't have it in front of me. So are you ready for the challenge? I have a challenge for you because I do have prizes during these six days. And the prize that I'm going to do for tomorrow, I will announce live who wins the contest or wins the not contest, but wins the challenge. And I will have a prize. I did not write down what my prize was for today. So day one, I don't remember what I'm doing for the prize. It, it will be a prize that will help you in your business. And I don't remember right off what it is. Wow. I have a lot of different things going on in my head right now. So <laughs> here's, if you would like to enter into this um, challenge, there are three things that you need to do. First, I want you to put a takeaway here in the video. So write takeaway and then put what your takeaway is. Something that you learned, maybe something that kind of stuck with you, maybe um, just a phrase, a couple of words, some kind of aha something you'd never heard before, go ahead and put takeaway and then what that is here in the video. Then I want you to make sure that you're in CBOB in that Creative Business Owner Basics group. And I want you to put the hashtag create 612. 
So it is June 12th. So create 612. And I would like for you to write the names down of the two people that you connect with before tomorrow. So you just got to connect with two people. I want you to put their names in there and like how you connected with them. So we connected over pumpkin spice. <laughs> we connected at the soccer game. We, you know, and, and actually like start a relationship with them and, you know, maybe friend them on Facebook, you know, and start a conversation and connect with two people. And then I'd like for you to comment and see if you connect with anybody else in CBOB because of what they said in that post. So if they said that they connected over pumpkin spice, hey, I love pumpkin spice too. So then what you would start to do is to connect with the people inside of CBOB too. Yes. So put the hashtag and then, um, <laughs> yeah, not the CBOB. So it's hashtag create 612. Hashtag create 612. So Connie's putting her takeaway in here and she says, reaching out to people you have something in common with. Yeah, it's really not that that difficult, but it's something that we kind of forget about, I think, when we become business owners that we feel like we need to get followers. And I'm here to tell you that I have never focused on getting followers. I have focused on building relationships and building connections with people so that if they are interested in following my business page, it's a natural connection to be able to do that. I've had a conversation with them. I've had a connection. And now I get people who follow my page because we haven't connected, but intentionally I'm trying to connect, have conversations, build relationships with people. So, yep, here, Connie has it, create 612. Hashtag create 612. So the reason I want you to put the hashtag is I can find that easier. And then I can um, search for those to be able to choose a winner for tomorrow. Oh, I just remembered. Here, here's the, here's the, here's what you're going to win. If, if I choose your name, you make the comment inside of CBOB. And if I choose your name, then I am going to do a recording of an audit of your personal profile or page, I forget how I have it listed out, of how to make sure that it is optimized so that people will come over to and follow. Um, so I think I did business pages. So anyway, an audit. So that is what I'm going to give to the person that I choose for tomorrow. So yep, Diana says, you become like the five people you hang out with. Yeah. So Marion says, making connections with people, not just followers. That is what I intend to do. So definitely. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about rest. And I know you're probably thinking, why are we talking about rest when we're talking about businesses? I can't rest. I need to make money, right? <laughs> like, I have no time to rest. I'm going to give you some different thoughts about rest and why that is important why you need to incorporate that into the foundational practices that you do so that here's my quote that you're going to hear me say every day during this, um, this six days that we're going to do. I want you today and every day to make the decision to create the life that you love today with making connections. So today and every day, I want you to decide to create the life you love by making connections. You're going to hear me say that quote every day because that is the tagline of my business that you create or the tagline of the course that you create a life that you love with those six foundational practices. So I am excited to be able to see you tomorrow at one o'clock. So about we were on here for about 40, 45 minutes or so today. I do want to tell you, I am doing something else a little bit different with these six videos. And I'm going to be doing an interview today at 4 p.m. with one of the people that has taken my course. And she is going to give us her story about the course, about what she learned, about how she applied the things in her business. And that's going to be at four o'clock. So I'm going to be live one more time here on my page today 
and it'll be about a 15 minute or so interview. And I believe she was on here with us. She popped on a little bit late. Let me see. Jamie, I don't know if you are still on here, but Jamie Tucker is going to be the first person that I interview. So throughout these um, six videos, I'm going to have some people that I interview and they're going to come on and just kind of share a little bit of those stories. So yeah, she's still here. She's still here. So Jamie and I are going to be back live at 4 p.m. Eastern. So hope I'll see you back there. Bye, everybody.